morning guys I just woke up um, obviously not looking the best but what can you expect so today I was thinking about doing a little day in my life vlog oh sorry my bed squeaks when I just like move you hear it okay let's hopefully, hopefully it stops doing that so yeah I was just gonna do a day in my life vlog not that like I don't know, I feel weird about doing these because sometimes I'm like, oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna be alone today. Like I don't think I'm gonna be around like any friends and I don't wanna be boring, but um I like watching these when other people are alone, so I'm like, why not? Like, I don't know, it's not like I'm gonna be like doing something super fun every day and I definitely need to be better about getting content up on my channel, especially going into college. Like I'd love to really make like prioritize this and make it more serious. Um, and definitely monetizing my channel is a goal of mine, so, yeah, we're gonna do a little day in my life vlog. So, if you're new to my channel, my name's Taylor, and make sure you, just, you subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my videos, because this summer I'm gonna have a lot of fun videos, and you're gonna want to see them all. So, yeah. Also, make sure you're following me on Instagram, because... Um, I ask on my stories, like, what videos you want to see or, like, have polls or um, ask us questions on, like, one of my pictures. So, yeah, that's a good way for you to, like, stay connected with me, especially um, because I'm going to be doing so many fun things this summer. Um, so, yeah, definitely make sure you're following me. It's at Taylor Vahey, so hit me with a follow. Um, I also want to mention that lately I've been parting my hair um, in the middle and... Wait, is it still in the middle? Okay, well, I slept on it, so it kind of went a little crazy, but I've been parting it down the middle, and, um, like, I used to do this when I was little, and then my mom was like, let's switch to the middle part, because, I don't know, maybe it was, like, more trendy, but I feel like I've seen a lot of people, like, moving back to a middle part, um, and that's not why I, like, have been doing the middle part, because, like, I don't really like doing what everyone else is doing, but I have really, really thick hair. Like, this has not been, like, straightened. Like, I usually only straighten my hair to, like, remove some of the thickness. Hold on. Like, if you can see, like, like, I don't know, just, it's like there's a lot to it. It's, like, really thick. Whenever I get my hair done. My hairdresser Tori is like, oh my god, I, for I always forget how thick it is because it doesn't like look that thick. But when you part it in the middle, you have like a little on either side. But when you part it on the side, it's like, it's like very thick on one side and then it's like not thick on the other side. So I feel like if it's like parted in the middle, it like feels, it doesn't feel as like clumped on one side, if you know what I mean. I don't know, but I've, I've just been liking it, so I want to share. Also, um... I have a lot of acne going on right now. I feel like it could be partly because I'm like picking it, which is kind of gross. I know I shouldn't do it, but like, I don't know when it's like right there, how can you not like squeeze it? Um, and last night it was really, really red and like a lot worse than tonight. Cause when I like went on Snapchat this morning, um, I was like, oh, it's not that bad which it normally would be like still really red because I have sensitive skin. So this is what I put on my face last night. Um, it is a tea tree oil um, anti-imperfection night mask from The Body Shop. And um, their products like are, really aren't that expensive. Um, so yeah, I'll show you guys what it looks like. Um, okay. So, let me turn this light on. So, it's like like almost like a jello like slime. If you can see it in there, it's like I don't really want to touch it, but it's like I don't know, it's it's kind of like jello-y. And then when you put it on your face, Okay, it's not really showing up, but it's like it kind of feels like a little sticky and like a little weird, but um, you just put it on um, and like rub it in and like you don't want it to be like thick like a mask that you wash off because then it will like get on your pillow and everything, but you want it to be um, like 
not like a moisturizer like you don't want to rub it all in so you want it to be like a little sticky so like I put it on like a little bit in between like a moisturizer amount and a face mask amount so um yeah like my face was like a little sticky but it wasn't like getting in my hair and stuff you know what I mean and it like really like made my skin look a lot better um and I feel like whenever I watch like people's vlogs like everyone's like oh like I I use a million products like I don't know I feel like there's definitely a big pressure to like buy all this stuff and keep up with it but um yeah that was like super cheap like um I want to say like 10 15 dollars maybe and the whole line is like um affordable I like bought the whole line because um I bought one product from them it was like a acne stick and you just like um put it on your little acne marks and like um the tea tree oil like I noticed like how quickly it was healing and I'd never seen those products before I have especially a sensitive skin it burns easy it gets red easy um it gets itchy easy so I like can't use anything that's too harsh so if you have like sensitive Irish skin like I do or maybe you're like you have very um non-sensitive skin I'd still give it a try if you haven't found anything I think the tea tree oil is a really really good product um and oh yeah going back to what I was saying earlier I just feel like on a lot of like channels there's a lot of pressure to like buy all this clothes and there's so many skincare routines and like all this stuff and I don't know sometimes I watch it and I'm like how do they keep up with like buying all this stuff so I'm like a firm believer that your money is better spent as an investment um you know open up um a Roth IRA open up like or buy some stocks open up a savings account even um when I see people like you know vloggers that I watch there was buying stuff I'm like this definitely influences like I even feel like I should be keeping up with all these clothes but in reality you don't need like a new outfit for everything like I heard one person say um oh I want a bikini for every time I go to a new bikini for every time I go to the beach because I don't want to take a picture and repost it in the same bikini and I was just like are you listening to yourself like that sounds so wasteful so expensive and a lot of people don't have the luxury to be like oh yeah I'm just gonna buy a new bikini every single time I go to the beach so that kind of annoyed me I also watched this documentary the other day I forget what it's called but I'll put it right there it's on Netflix um Hannah Maloach if that's how you say her name she had it on her story that she watched it and it's about the fast fashion industry so I think everyone should be mindful obviously I'm still gonna buy clothes it's kind of like you have to um you can try to buy from sustainable brands which is something I'm gonna do unfortunately it's a little bit more expensive so I might not always be buying from sustainable brands but I can make an effort to try and um just be aware of the whole industry of like fast fashion like cheap clothes so yeah I'm gonna do a haul um for stuff I got for this summer but a lot of it um is like stuff I'll be reusing a lot and like getting my money worth and um you know it's it's very affordable and I didn't go overboard so I'm not being hypocritical of those people I just think that they kind of like aren't in touch with reality so I just wanted to throw that out there but um let's get out of bed it's like 11 o'clock I slept in today because I don't know I've just been like very stressed and I was just like you know what I'm gonna just sleep in so I'm gonna get dressed and I'll be right back this is some of the stuff I got for the summer haul. So that's coming soon. I still need to get one more package. Okay, so I got dressed and I love being comfy, especially I'm like, I've been working out every day. So um, I'm usually wearing some type of workout clothes, but like also like it can be still like cute and I can still wear it around. So um, I'm wearing Aerie Sports Bra. I love all their bras. Um, this is a cute little Falmouth Road Race um, tank top, and I don't know, usually tank tops like aren't this cute, but like the little lighthouse, like it's so cute. And then these leggings are, um, they're like kind of high-waisted, um, they're like off-brand, I don't even know what brand they are. I like didn't even really want to give them a chance, but my mom was like, just try them on. So, um, they're pretty cute, and they're, what I really like about them is they're really tight, um, sometimes my leggings, like, they, they kind of move around, but these are pretty tight. 
but these are the Adidas, I don't even know what they're called, but, um, I feel like they're really fun because they're, like, cute, you can, like, wear them out, and then you can also, like, wear them to work out, so, kind of, like, the best of both worlds, I don't know, with my Nike sneakers, I, do, I just don't feel like they look cute, like, I feel like they look, especially with, like, long leggings, like, I don't know, I don't really like that look, but, um, yeah, I'm gonna also gonna throw on a sweatshirt, so I'm gonna pick one out. Okay, this is the sweatshirt I picked out. Um, I found it in Donna's closet, and no one knew whose it was, so it became mine instantly, of course. Um, I like that it's, like, it has this band, um, so it, like, keeps it, like, tight, but it's not cropped. So you're, like, your stomach's covered, but it's, like, not, like, hanging way down, you know what I mean? And I've been talking about this more and more. I'm really not a fan of crop tops. I really don't think they're flattering on me, and, like, I don't know, I feel like there's a big pressure to wear them, especially now that I'm shopping for, like, college, and I just, I don't think I like them, so I'm not gonna wear them, and if you guys feel pressured, like, everyone's wearing them, and you don't like the way you feel and look in them, don't wear them either. I'm starting a movement. Thank you. Okay, um, let's go do something fun. I also want to mention my pearls. Um, I feel like earrings are, like, a really quick way to, like, just make yourself feel a little, like, more girly put together. Um, I either wear my fake pearls or my fake, um, diamonds because there's honestly no point in losing, like, really expensive real earrings. Like, backings drop all the time. And it's happened to me before. Never again. I'm done losing earrings. So... Just go down to Claire's, get some fake ones, and then if you lose them, you won't feel bad. And it's just a really simple way to make you just feel like you look a little better. Um, so right now I'm putting ice in my hydro flask. Also not trying to be a poser, so I'll tell you guys a secret. Um, my, ho my hydro flask was a gift from my dear mother Colleen um, for Christmas and she ordered it off some website I forget what exactly what it was called but it was like hydro net or something like that like something not flask it was something hydro and it took about three months to get here they weren't even here for Christmas and then my sister was looking at them because she got one too and Allie was like mom I don't think these are real hydro flasks. And my mom was like, oh. So, and she emailed the company and said she'd like her money back. And in like half broken English, they told her that she could have a $5 discount on her next product. So, make sure you're getting your hydro flask from the right website. But honestly, it's fine. Like, my sister got a on brand hydro flask. I was like, I don't care. So I'm pretty sure it works fine. The straw is like a little wonky, I feel. But I think we can make it work. Um, also, like, I'm really not a big fan of tap water. But I feel like the trick is if you make it cold and put ice in it, you, like, can't tell that it's tap water. So if you don't like tap water, just make it cold and see if that, like, helps with the taste. Because I feel like, honestly, like, I guess it depends on where you live, but... Top water is just as fine as regular water, so. So I told my mom to buy kombucha. Been a huge fan. So this one is green. This one is mango. And then this one is pomegranate hibiscus. So this one sounds the best. And it's really pretty. Oh, I love the bottle. So we got them at Trader Joe's. Um, I've honestly been surprising myself because... Um, I'm really not that healthy. I've been like really pushing myself to make better choices and now it's May. So in April I lost eight pounds. Go me. So um, and I feel like I honestly I just like started working out a little bit like I was kind of extreme the first like two weeks and then I kind of like fell off the bandwagon a little bit but um, I just tried to make a little bit of healthier choices. I definitely didn't even like go sorry about this angle. I'm just um, I'm, I'm a busy girl. We're, we're on the go. Um, what was I saying? Oh, I do this all the time. Oh, I, I was trying to make better choices. So, honestly, I feel like it's very doable. This month, I've been making 
a lot better effort, but it is only a few days in. So we'll see how long it lasts. Um, I mean, I bought like an expensive gym membership. So, cause I have one in Planet Fitness, but it's like $20 a month for like the, the top notch um, like membership and I like never go. I also feel, feel like it's really hard to like motivate yourself. But, oh, let me get this for you. But at this gym, or it's not a gym, it's a studio. They have um, indoor cycling, like Soul Cycle, but it's not Soul Cycle. Um, it, downstairs, and it's like the same thing, you know. The lights down, the music going, positive, um, good workout. And then upstairs, they have a studio with booty yoga, um, which I've really been liking. Never knew I was such a such a yogini. Is that how you say it? Um, and some like other like bar classes and stuff. So it's kind of like the best of both worlds because I don't know. It's like you can change it up. You don't have to do like the same thing every day. So I've been going to like one or two classes. I think every day this month. I think I missed one day so far, but um. I exercised on that day anyway because I had dance team practice because um, I'm going to try out for my college dance team. Um, so yeah, so if you're trying to make healthier decisions, you can do it. I believe in you. So um, now we're going to go check out, it's really sad, a whale washed up. I live on Cape Cod and a huge, I think it's a humpback whale um, washed up like 20 minutes from my house and I just thought it would be um, good to like kind of pay, pay my respects and you know just check it out like it's kind of a big deal and um, especially if it's like due to like climate change or anything like that I think it's important to show what happened to the whale for like people like you guys who maybe don't live all on the Cape and um, don't like live so close to the water that way you can see like kind of how sad like I'm very concerned about the environment so yeah I just basically wanted to shed some light on that in the vlog so let's go drive there so this is an adult female humpback whale this is her uterus. If you ever see a stranding on the beach on Cape Cod, this is the number to call. So, just thought I'd put that out there. So, the whale is on its um, back and its stomach is up. That floating down there is its tongue, I guess. And so her face is like, on, her head is underwater. And then this boat is going to tow the whale um, to another beach where they can investigate what happened to the whale and then take care of its body. So um, also, I guess that is the whale's uterus and um, the decaying process sometimes pushes it out. Um, so it could be some, a complication of her death, but they don't know yet. So yeah, they're um, going to take the whale away at high tide, which is at three o'clock. And there's a ton of people here. Okay, seeing the whale um, was really sad, but I guess it's part of life and I'll have to like stay updated on looking for articles about what happened to the whale and like guys know, so that'll probably be later on in the video. Um, I have a couple errands to do. I have to get a yoga mat because every time I take the booty yoga class or any of the bar classes, I have to rent a mat for $2 and I just need to go get a yoga mat so I don't have to keep renting the mats. Um, also probably going to get food. Um, 
I'm really feeling Subway. Love Subway. Um, so I feel like that's like not the worst decision. Better than like McDonald's or something. And then also, um, when I mentioned, or maybe I didn't mention it. I, I have such a bad memory, I forget. But I had an, a gift certificate to get my nails done. And this was three weeks ago. So my nails have definitely grown out um, since I got them done. But the dip, it definitely like strengthens them um, on top. When you take it off, it kind of, they're kind of more weak. Um, but I think I'm going to get them done another time for my graduation and then maybe another time for the trip I'm getting and then I don't know I feel like having them be done for college is just like more of a pain than it's worth because it's gonna be like hard for me to get off campus to get them done and stuff so that's the nail update also I feel like there's like a big pressure to like always like have nice nails and like if you wanted to like paint your own nails like that's honestly fine too like I don't know I feel like to pay a lot of money just to have to get your nails done every week or every other week is like kind of not worth it because that's money that you could like invest in like savings account or a stock or a retirement account like I don't know I just feel like it's money that you're kind of throwing out the window in a way but if you have a special occasion then I feel like it's a little bit more justified so always make sure you wear your seatbelt too. I'm a big seatbelt person. And then also, um, I've been loving podcasts. I think I mentioned in my last video that I like the Views podcast with David Dobrik. And I actually, in like the last month or so, I've listened to all of his. And they've been doing that podcast for like maybe two years. So I think they do it every week. So I listen to a ton of episodes, but I mean, I drive a lot, like, living on the Cape, nothing's, like, that close to each other, so if I throw on a podcast and I'm in the car, I mean, I feel like it's it's better than listening to music where you've already heard the song a million times and you're, like, getting sick of it. Like, a lot of times you can learn something for a podca from a podca podcast, so I've been listening to this Gals on the Go um, podcast. It's by two college YouTubers, Brooke and Danielle. Um, I don't really know how to say their last names but they're really fun um if you're going into college or in high school or maybe not even um you might want to check it out um they talk about like college youtube um just like normal like teenage type stuff i guess um and i don't know it almost feels like you're like talking to like a friend like you hear about like their spring break plans and um the parties they went to or you know the the new websites that they ordered their clothes off of so i don't know just like i feel like it's better than just like turning on the radio like i feel like i get like some value out of a podcast so if you're looking for one um definitely check out the gals on the go podcast also the views podcast is really good too it's really funny um but i feel like if you don't like watch david dobrik's videos it might not be as funny but i feel like the gals on the go podcast like i just started listening to their podcast and i've never really seen any of their videos before i've heard of them but um i feel like their podcast is very like you don't need to know them to like like the podcast so yeah just if you want to check out a podcast, those are some of my suggestions. Okay, let's go get a yoga mat. It's such a good job vlogging. Usually, like, I feel like when I'm alone, I'm like, oh, I'm a loser. I'm not going to vlog because I have nothing to say. But I have so many things to say to you guys. So, hopefully, people are still watching. This is probably going to be a wicked long vlog. But, honestly, like, I need that because the longer vlogs do better. Like, people surprisingly watch them. And I really want to get my channel monetized. But I had a dream last night. I guess you dream, like, seven or eight times a night, I think. Don't quote me on it, but I think that's what I heard. Maybe it's myth. Um, but the dream I remember from last night is that I was in a building and it like collapsed and crushed me. I don't know if I died. I don't know what happened, but I always think dreams are like really cool because it like kind of has to do with like what you're going through and like your like mind trying to like sort things out and stuff. Um, so I always look up. I also sometimes have a dream that I wake up with like no teeth or like a tooth fell out. <gasps> I think I did have that dream last night too. Yeah, I did. It was this tooth. Oh my God. Yeah, I remember that. It's so weird. I think I'm going to start trying to write down my dreams because they're super interesting and um, 
you remember them more if you write them down as soon as you wake up, I think. So anyways, I looked up my dream of the building collapsing and what it means, and I'll read it to you what it means. Um, to dream of a blo um, sorry, to dream of a building collapsing represents feeling that a situation in your life is coming to an end on its own. A situation is falling apart, an unstoppable loss. It may also reflect feelings about the ending of a situation of a situation being inevitable. So, I don't know. I feel like honestly, I'm wicked stressed out about like college loans. And so maybe that's why I had that dream. I don't know. I just feel like there's no choice but to take them out and I'm stressed about paying them back and debt and all that stuff. So, um, yeah, I feel like people on social media only talk about the good parts of their life, but I don't want to be like that. I want to be real and I'm stressed about loans and there you go. So if you're stressed about something, it's all right because everyone has stressors and people who say that they're never stressed and their life is perfect, they're lying or they're not human. Um, I've been working on my homework for a couple of hours and I'm about to leave to go to a either a yoga class or a spin class. So I have to see which one I um, want to do. But yeah, I'm just finishing up some homework. I have two finals tomorrow and then two next week. So almost done. Just trying to keep it together and stay motivated. Earlier I went, worked out, I went to spinning and um, I really pushed myself so I'm proud that I went and I got it done. Um, and now I'm still studying for my um, final. So tomorrow I have my accounting open note file, um, open note test. So just trying to, you know, get all my notes down. So yeah, um, I'm gonna just keep writing notes and um, yeah, so I hope you liked this vlog. There wasn't really, um, I don't know, like a purpose other than just like vlogging my day. Not sure if it was boring or if you guys like to see this like side of me. Um, it's not as like funny as like when I'm with friends, but um, yeah, I hope you like this video. Please subscribe to my channel. I really want to get to a thousand subscribers so I can be one step closer to monetizing my channel as I've said before. So hope you guys have a good night. Bye.